I think we're live. Oh, there we go. Maybe. Let's see. Connected. Yeah, well, I think we're live. Yeah, we're live. Is it showing my screen? Hello? Oh, hey. Hey, 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 hey there hey. we go. All right. Our first ever live thrift haul. Live. <laughs> Are you looking at yourself like that? I'm trying to see where I'm at. I'm hey. Back. I'm Christian. Oh, it's delayed. Yeah, it's delayed. Oh, I didn't know it was delayed. We're professionals here. Yeah. All right. We'll get right into it. This is just a live thrift haul. This is stuff we picked up uh, last, was it Thursday? I mean, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. This is live. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yesterday we picked up. Literally yesterday. We sourced over 350 items, and actually it was more than one day. In two days, so this week. We, oh, well, Tuesday. Yeah, you yeah, guys yeah. were Tuesday. Tuesday and Thursday we shopped. So two days we sourced over 350 items. This is the stuff we picked up. Just want to show you guys what we're picking up. And We uh, went to, what was it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven or eight stores? Yeah. Seven or eight stores, picked up a bunch of stuff. That was our average cost per item. $4.99. Yeah. $4. For Thursday's trip. Tuesday's trip was three dollars and eighty nine cents. Yeah, um, I'll start off with some pants. I guess uh, this is just a pair of uh, Bonobos men's jeans. Um, Bonobos is a decent brand for us. Uh, we paid up a little bit for these. Um, I think this. Oh, they're, they're called the the blue jeans. So the sell through rate's really good on these. Uh, it should sell for about thirty five bucks. Uh, this is just a Mitchell and Ness T shirt that we got. That was. Uh, half off it was it's an nhl shirt we like to buy nhl stuff uh mitchell and ness is a good brand it's uh, got some decent clout to it uh this is just a pair of levi 514s um paid like four bucks for them nice bread and butter brand we pick up pretty much every levi we can find for under five dollars uh, this is called rounder bum now i think oh this i like is, this this one. is weird because i think one. you're supposed to wear it underneath your shirt to it's, make you look more muscular it's a it's a padded i think it's for sleeping too so if you're in bed um and you want to feel jacked you put on the rounder bum yeah it's, it makes stuff for your shorts too to where your your booty will look bigger yeah it's very cool i was gonna say interesting <laughs> you could uh, just go to the gym this is a pair like, of men's rag and bone jeans um rag and bones kind of a kind of fallen off a lot recently but the men's stuff still performs relatively well especially the jeans probably sell these for between 35 and 40 bucks 35 and 40 yeah. mics don't seem to be working who said that somebody said the mics don't seem to be working the mics aren't working let me check keep going keep going uh, if the mics aren't working i'm not gonna keep going all right let's see uh i wonder why they're not working oh somebody Wait, are somebody they... Somebody else can hear us. They can hear us? Somebody else can. Mike's not seem to be working. Somebody else said, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear us? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know how to check either. Um, I say we just keep going. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. I can hear you. Okay. Somebody else can hear us. That's one for two. <laughs> um, this is a cycling shirt. This is a... Uh, it's plain, which I think benefits the cycling shirts not 100 percent sure it was really cheap so it's, it's called boo raw boo raw i don't know what that is but how big is the warehouse can you hear can hear you fine okay that's good how big is the warehouse the warehouse is about four thousand square feet yeah give or take a few i don't know exactly but it's around that so pretty big uh this is just a pair of lucky brand jeans they're the they're actually newer tags they're the uh, 110 skinny don't normally pick up skinny jeans, but since these were new, we picked them up. And men's skinny is better than women's yeah, skinny. Yeah, they're not like super. Yeah, they're not as bad. So. They're not super bad. Probably 30 bucks for those. Uh, this is a Travis Matthew t-shirt. We do pick up Travis Matthew t-shirts, especially when it said this Bushwood uh, Country Club kind of situation. So, yeah, it was pretty cheap. It was only like $4, so we picked it up. Let's see here. Oh, Armani Exchange. So, Armani Exchange is really weird. When you look it up, it always looks horrible. Oh. But what? Somebody asked if we regretted the spicy challenge. Um, yes. During and like 15 minutes after, it really wasn't that bad. Like it was okay. Like you were pretty much 15, 20 minutes, you were back to normal. The next day, there oh. was a lot of regret. The demons come home to roost. Yes, they, it was not. It doesn't uh, exit in a very uh, yeah, this, anyway, peaceful it, manner. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was. I was literally, I got not sick. Fun. I got sick after doing it. So yeah. I don't know if the two are related, but. Uh, yeah. Just our mind exchange joggers, probably sell them for 30 bucks. It was fun. I mean, it was weirdly fun, but also because 
Also totally not. Yeah, working. not fun at the same time. Uh, this is a Nike Dry Fit. This is a the Packers. Uh, so this is an um, what is it called? NFL? Salute to service. <laughs> mock neck polo. So mock necks already we like that already better. And then is also uh, the salute to service, which we think people are kind of look for that. Yeah. Because they don't they didn't make a ton of it. So uh, this is just an athleta. This is one of the very few women's things we pick up. It's actually new with tags, which is one of the reasons we picked it up. Uh, it's the salutation stash flare pants. Yeah, suckers flare. So uh, whatever that means. Uh, not sure what they sell for, but I know they're gonna sell for more than we paid for them. We paid like ten bucks for them, so we picked them up. Alaskan hard gear. That's is that Duluth Trading? No, yeah, Duluth yeah. Trading. It's by Duluth Trading. Just a simple little T-shirt. Um, yep, paid about four or five dollars for this. Hopefully, sells quickly. Hopefully, I don't know if you say that. that. Say that. Not, not a chance. Um, Caval, Cavalleria Cal Toscana. It's Cal a riding pant. Calaveria something. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a type of riding pant. Um, I'm sure you're not gonna be able to see this. But here's the logo. Yeah. There you go. That's what the logo looks like. If you can see that. Ah, where are we at? There's the logo. This is actually found by our mom. So shout out, mom. <laughs> These are some. Somehow she always finds riding pants. I'm not sure exactly how that works but she always finds her riding pants uh these were new with tags we paid like 10 bucks for them but uh they actually she said they sell for over 200 dollars with an over 100 percent sell through rate so if you see riding pants always look them up yep and they're made in italy which is weird lululemon t-shirt this looks like the metal vent tech um it is everybody knows lululemon but you can come in here and look at the size it's a size large so men's lululemon we like, like men's more than women's so we paid like seven dollars for it so not gonna make a ton of money on them. Like six. Oh yeah, nine, seven. Close to seven. A little, a little less than. Uh, I mean, I'll list them at thirty, and if somebody offers mid twenties, I take it normally. Yeah, this is just a pair of Levi five hundred ones. Um, like I said, we pick up Levi's if we, yeah, button fly. We can always pick these up uh, for around five dollars in our area. So here we go. This is another. Our mom found this one. Good times. Uh, she likes to brag when she finds stuff like this. It's a new with tag Arcteryx. Uh, it's like a lightweight wind shell, so it's like a really lightweight wind jacket. It's kind of cool. Um, Art Terex, really good. We only paid like seven eighty something for it, and it's new tag. So I didn't know they made their tags this daggone big. Yeah, if you know how much yeah. that sells for or what it's exactly called, uh, leave a comment. Yeah, I'm not sure how many people are actually. It was one hundred and thirty new, so whatever. I don't know. Um, Levi 505, 36 by thirty two, another bread and butter. Uh, probably sell for twenty twenty five bucks. Another salute to service. This is just a uh, regular t-shirt though, Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, yeah, this should go for, I mean, I normally list these t-shirts kind of just around $20 and then somebody makes an offer, 15, and yeah. they accept it. We normally end up taking 15 for a lot of our t-shirts. This, this uh, brand's called Barbell. Um, Barbell Apparel, they make like kind of athletic, like lifting type apparel. Um, these are jeans. Not sure if the jeans are as good as the other stuff, but I think these sell for around $40 with close to 100% sell through rate. So kind of a little bit of a bolo here. Uh, Marvel. This is a Spider-Man Marvel like workout kind of like compression fit shirt. Um, I We think these, we've had um, pretty good success with these in the past. Like I said, nothing. Sometimes crazy. they don't look great when you look no, them up either. Like 20 bucks. Yeah. We've had Take a lot of success it. with like the Marvel Under Armour collab yeah, as so well. Oh, we might as well try it. Try it for cheap. Try it. Um, we should try it. <laughs> we should try it. Uh, this is a five eleven tactical. Just a pair of nice tactical pants. Uh, nice bread and butter. Probably pick these up. I mean, probably pick these. Paid like five bucks for these. Probably sell them for twenty bucks. It's a Harley Davidson t shirt. It's got the uh, cool logo. I think. I don't know. Big script. Uh, new with tags. Long sleeve shirt. Nothing really to say about that. It's Harley Davidson. Another Good Levi's. Stuff. 569. These are a little bit baggier than the last pair. Um, like I said, bread and butter, 25 bucks. This is Hickey Freeman, button down. Uh, Hickey Freeman, um, I mean, button downs aren't the best in Hickey Freeman, but we have to pick up a lot of items every day. So this will eventually sell. We didn't pay a lot for it. So um, yeah, if you're, I would say if you're really trying to go through like 100 to up sell through rate, 100% up sell through rate, probably don't pick that up. But we're okay with sitting on it for a while and being able to sell it for 20 How something. high up is uh, button-down shirts in our categories? Button-down shirts, this month and this year, it's third on our list. So we got pants, jeans, button-down, casual button-down shirts, polos, and then right now, shorts is number number five. So 
we're uh, chugging right along into that uh, spring season. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, this is just a pair of grasshoppers. Uh, they are insect repellent. Um, not sure I would include that in the title because it could be a Vero. But um, they, you, they hit you with like the insecticide thing. Yeah, you see. I don't really know. Shield. We haven't figured out how to market it correctly to where. Yeah, if you know how to do that, drop yeah, a comment. Let us know. Because <laughs> this is a Frank and Eileen button down. Frank and Eileen's a good woman's brand. Um, this They're actually pretty expensive even if they're just made out of cotton. Uh, I don't know exactly what we're going to list that at. Like I said, we don't list a lot of women's clothes all the time. So probably, I don't know, 30 something, 40. I don't know. Let's see. Another nice bread and butter. Shut back up. Uh, these are just a pair of Nike golf pants. Uh, they're kind of a unique color. It looks like a newer um, style as well. Probably sell these for 35 bucks. Uh, the, the, yeah, the colors make a difference on the Nike and the sell-through rate, I believe. This is just a, just a Nike polo, golf polo. It's a newer style. Uh, it has this cool golfer guy on the front. Cool golfer guy? Cool golfer guy. So, yeah, well, this is something, like I said, I normally list the polos at like $23, $24. And if you see a cool golfer guy, and then take a, take an offer, anything 15 and above. So. And then our Republic Chino Pants, new with tags. Paid like 7 bucks for them. Probably... I want to say 25 30 See, we're showing you guys all the oh, the bread and butter stuff plus the new attack I stuff. Because big people say we get a lot of new attack stuff, which I think we do, but a majority of our store is used. Like I would say probably at least 75% of our store yeah. is, is used items. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a Polo Ralph Lauren. Just basic button, uh, just a basic polo. See, I hate the polo Ralph Lauren polo. You gotta say polo like 40 times. It's a polo polo polo. polo, polo. polo, polo it's a polo polo, 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 polo. Boo, that's not a man. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pair of Arc'teryx pants. They're like kind of like leggings. They're called the Ascent High Rise Legging. 28 inch women's. Not sure exactly how much these sell for, but we only paid a whopping $5 uh, for them and they're new attack. So hopefully you get 40, yeah, 45 Two dollars. new attack Arc'teryx things. And one for, that was pretty, that was pretty Tony cool. found those. Um, Surprisingly. Yeah, and if you watched the Spicy Challenge, thanks. Yeah. Kind of made it a little bit worth it. We liked everybody saying that it was funny because it wasn't funny for us. But looking back on it, watching I think I watched it a couple times. It was pretty funny. So, thanks funny, for watching funny can, it. He can uh, see colors. I can everybody. see colors, yeah. Apparently that was... I don't even... I don't even... I really don't remember saying it. I mean, I know I said it, but I don't remember saying it at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, this is Bonobos. Uh, just a regular old polo Bonobos golf. That's how Bonobos started. They started as like a golf thing. A uh, another outdoor ones. research. Oh, this is the first one. That's the first. One. Oh, an outdoor research. Uh, just a pair of women's leggings. Uh, probably thirty-five bucks for these. Outdoor research is a great bolo brand. You gotta look out for. If you see the O R, look at that. Johnny O. If you love Johnny O, uh, this is a new with tags. Johnny O. Actually, uh, it has Harvard on the front. So if you want to buy oh. this and you didn't go to Harvard, you can impress <laughs> all your friends that you actually probably more like people you don't know. I don't yeah. think you went to Harvard. Yeah, if it's your friend, they're going to know. Your friend, they'll know that, hey, this guy's not a Harvard This guy man. didn't go to Harvard. This is a just a Flex Fire Hose pair of Duluth Trading Cargo Carpenter Brands. On it. Yeah, yeah, it had a big old fuzzy on it. Uh, probably 25 bucks for these. Nice bread and butter. Patty. Patagucci. Shout out Caleb Sells. Yeah. Uh, this is a Patagonia Capilene Midweight. I think it's a men's. I don't know. 100% sure. But, yeah, Patagonia can't go wrong when you pay $4.80. A little Peter Millar action here. Um, Peter Millar pants are not the greatest performers in the world, but we paid like four bucks for them, so had to pick them up. Probably sell for twenty five. Foot Joy, we pick up Foot Joy, uh, but only when it's cheap. This one costs right around two dollars, so we picked up Foot Joy. Okay, we're sitting on it for a little bit if we have to. Um, yeah. Do, do we have any comments? No comments. No comments. Okay. No. Okay, we're good. Uh, Under Armour golf pants. Nice bread and butter. Probably twenty five bucks for these. Uh, nothing much to say about it. Just a plain Under Armour polo, but is it? No, it's not, because it says the Ryder Cup. Uh, the Ryder Cup is a uh, tournament that goes between the Europe and the, the Europe. Europe team and the right eye, United man. States team. They, they golf against each other in like a weird style. So it happens every two years. So that is a, uh, that adds value. Yeah, the Ryder Cup is in the Europe, if you were wondering where This it was year at. it's actually in the USA, so good but, job. Uh, not this year. Either. Next time it's... Okay, J. Lindbergh pants. Lindenburg, not Lind... Is it Lindenburg? Lindenburg. Oh, I'm sorry, it says Lind... Lindenburg. Hmm. We were both wrong. That's what I said, J. Lindbergh. J. Lindbergh uh, men's pants. 
They're like, these are a golf pant. Um, if you look these up, they are all over the place, but you have to keep in mind what time of year it is. Um, these things will probably sell for at least $30. Uh, this is a Ralph Lauren RLX, but just like the <clears throat> Ryder Cup, this one has a patch that says the U.S. Open 2018. So yeah, 2018 was it's obviously... A, it's also wicking, which you should include in your time. Yeah, a while ago, but if you see stuff like this, like I said, that does add value, we believe, or at least doesn't take away value, but try to put that in your title if it can fit. Yeah. Uh, do we have another comment or no you sure oh wait a minute crushing it thanks man we or thank you reseller reseller tom appreciate yeah. you uh banana republic new attack kind of like a jogger pant um, i feel like i'm gonna mispronounce so many names I yeah, if we if we that. mispronounce something um keep your comment <laughs> no leave a, leave another comment yelling at me saying like hey it's not this shame shame, yeah, Tony. shame not me because i can't handle the criticism uh new attacks banana republic joggers I paid like seven bucks for them, probably sell for 25. Uh, this is an untuck it, but uh, we so we would have picked this up anyway, but especially since it was only like five dollars or less than five dollars. But this one is made out of nylon and spandex. So if it's not the cotton ones, like they make uh, linen, they make the nylon and that stuff, we find the material adds a little, not necessarily a lot of money, but it helps the sell through rate. Yeah. So. Uh, this is in a pair of Ariat Rebar men's M4 men's jeans. Um, not 100% sure. Ariat. Ariat. Sorry. <laughs> Ariat. Um, we paid like, what is this, like five, six bucks for these. Um, not sure what they sell for. If you know how much these go for, let me know. I'm going to guess like 35, 40 bucks. But like I said, our cost average was 4 dollars so. Yeah, so we didn't pay much. Yeah. yeah. When you go to as many stores as we go to, it's hard to keep track of like, oh, this costs this, this costs that. So we just cost average the whole day and call it a time. Peter Millar Summer Colored Comfort. Pad. Make sure you add Summer Comfort, the pink color. We believe helps out. So this is an L.O. Bean signature rugby style. Uh, kind of a, it's a long sleeve polo. We always like to pick up the rugby style. And, and it's new with tags. There's the tag. The tag's right there. Yeah. Uh, we paid like seven bucks for this, so it paid oh, up Thanks for bit. the like. Somebody hearted it. Thank you. I don't know who it was. Yeah, thank you for the heart. Thank you for the heart. Why'd you get some? so intimate with that because i love hearts <laughs> <laughs> yeah rugby style uh new attacks probably sell that for 30 bucks tommy hilfiger new attack button down shirt i love being signatures higher end as well we pick up tommy bahama not tommy bahama tommy hilfiger if it's one either really cheap or two bahama. if it's new tags uh charles is that tyler is that how you say that i don't i've never tried to say that out loud i'm gonna call it charles p a little, Char Charlie T. A little Charles T here action. Not um, Charlie Sheen. No. No Tiger Blood here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 20 bucks, probably. Got a Canali made in Italy uh, blazer. Uh, also, and you there's can use one. There's two. Coke. Yep. Two of them. They were pretty cheap. Looks like about $3. This one was. $3 yep. each. $3 each. Canali's good. Made in Italy. I think it's made out of wool, right? 100% wool. 100% virgin wool. So, yeah. Canali, great brand, especially in the suits. I'm going to guess 100 bucks a pop on these. Take an offer though, don't worry. Yeah. Uh oh. I think our post office guy's here. Okay, you go, I'll keep going. Should I leave the mic? Yeah, leave the mic on. Or no, but like over there? No, leave it on. Oh, okay. You're good. Uh, Tony has to go take Can care of our packages, get picked up by our postman. Uh, he's going to go wheel them out to them. Um, if you don't have your packages picked up and you have a decent amount, you should talk to your postman and have him start doing that because it does save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay. The Luke Trading long sleeve, just kind of like a hiking shirt. Probably sell this for twenty bucks. It's better without Tony, right? I mean, I didn't want to say it while he was here, but our best video was just me. Just saying. No, I just get it. Uh, Old Navy New Attacks button down shirt. Probably list it for twenty, maybe sell it for fifteen, but we only paid like less than two dollars for it, so we're gonna pick that up every time. Okay, we have any more comments here? Any more comments? What was our biggest sale this week? Ooh, that's a great question. I could actually look that up. I'll have Tony look that up when he gets back from uh, messing with the packages, and then we'll tell you what it was. I can't remember off the top of my head. We've had a couple over $100 items sell, so I'm not 100% sure on that answer, but we'll get back to you in a second. Uh, this is just a New York Mets Nike polo. Uh, we thought this was really nice. It's in really, really good condition as well, which I always like to see. With the sports team stuff pretty much any sports team we're picking up if they're a decent team probably sell this for like 20 bucks i'm back tony's coming back what was our number one sale uh, was it this week was that the question yeah this week 
Uh, we you know? sold two things for $190. One was a pair of shoe, a boots, and one was that Bullock and Jones. Was that last week? No, that was last week. Yeah, yeah was, a pair of boots we sold for $190. I don't remember exactly what the brand was, do you? It was a white pair of boots. It was Ab like a Abilene? pair of cowboy boots or something. I think they were like Abilene that. boots. Yeah. yeah, they were nice. Uh, Pittsburgh Pirates. What brand is this? Uh, homage, kind of a local brand to our area. It's more popular now. Yeah, they're starting to gain some momentum. But... They were on the the Kelsey Brothers podcast, and oh, were they real? <laughs> yeah. Uh, paid like four bucks for this. Probably sell it for twenty. This is a polo golf shirt. It's just a it's made out of Pima cotton, so that kind of hurts the value a little bit, we think, in the resale. Uh, but it's got a cool logo up here on the collar. And it has a cool logo here on the sleeve. And it says the Open Muirfield, which is for the memorial. So all that stuff we think kind of helped. Uh, this is just a nice bread and butter Under Armour golf polo. We pick up pretty much every other Under Armour golf polo with a decent pattern on it. Uh, so probably 20 bucks. I'm going to get a drink of water real quick. Yeah, bring me one too. <laughs> I'm starting to feel it in my throat. This is worse than the, the spicy challenge. Okay, it's just me. I don't know what to do. Well, he's not here. Um, well, you guys want to know anything cool about us? I'm 30, almost 30. I'm going to turn 30 in a month. So that's cool. I know I don't, sometimes I don't look 30, but Christian is going to be 29, actually, in less than a month. So about half a month. So we're 11 months apart. That's a fun, it's a fun fact. It's a Vineyard Vines on the go polo. This one is a used one. I know we bought a bunch of, uh, New ones before, but this is a used one. It has a cool logo up here on the side, but it was cheap. So we think we'll still be able to sell it for at least 20 maybe a little more. Uh, let's see. This is a Robert Graham, and it's made out of linen. So we pick up Robert Graham when it's cooler, uh, like linen material uh, and stuff like that, and it has cool flip cuffs. So. I have to run to my house to get some water, so okay. I'll be back in like two seconds. Okay. <laughs> I'm all alone. Hold down the fort, baby. I'm all alone. Bring me some water, at least. We got a lot of stuff, so we might be live for a while. <laughs> Tommy Bahama. This is a linen blend as well. Yep. Nice, cool linen. Pick up Tommy B. <coughs> oh, sorry. When it's nicer material like that. This is a cool one. This is an RLX vest. Uh, yeah, so it's a golf brand. Like I said, RLX is their golf line. It is, I mean, it's pretty high quality stuff. And the vests are really popular among golfers. I think so anyway. So I think that'll go for a pretty penny. Probably list it in the mid 30s at least. Maybe up 38, 40 dollars. Take an offer. This is another Patagonia Kathleen. Found that around the same area as the other one. Another five dollars. Like I said, those are probably list around 30-ish. Maybe a little more, take an offer, especially since we paid so so little for them. Just get them gone. Todd Snyder. Todd Snyder is a really good brand. Uh, I never really sold a polo by Todd Snyder, so I don't know what they're worth. But I just saw Todd Snyder. I was like, it can't be bad. So we pick it up and figure out the, how much to sell it for later. So, yeah, that's what we do with that. Todd Snyder. It's a good brand. Bolo. In your Bolo books. Grayson. Oh, sorry. Grayson is a good golf brand as well. Uh, they, a lot of the times you'll see them, they have like the back up here, wolf head or on the front, but this one doesn't. So that hurts it a little bit, but Grayson's still a good brand. Uh, G-R-E-Y-S-O-N. And yeah, good golf brand. Probably mid-20s listed at, maybe listed up at 28 and then take an offer anything 20 and up. It's just your basic Lacoste polo. It's pink, so we think that helps it, and it's not shrunk, surprisingly. A lot of the, uh, what does it say? How much do you spend per day sourcing? Well, it varies on how much we get that day. So, uh, um, I think, man, it's normally a couple thousand. I mean, when we buy 350-something items. Whatever 350 something 400 divided by the total amount was. Um, so I, I think it is around a couple thousand dollars, I think. I don't know. But we, we get them all gone and 
we sell a lot of things a day. So I think we've sold in the last 90 days, man, almost, almost 4,000 items in the last 30 days. No, 90 days, sorry, 4,000 items in the last 90 days. So we flush through a lot of income and, uh, and a lot of uh, a lot of money. So it comes goes in and out. It goes in and comes right back out. So I think, it, how much did we spend yesterday? Do you know, a couple thousand? Uh, a little less than a couple thousand. But right around there, depending on how much we get. Yeah. Sorry, I need a water. When I said run to my house, I literally ran up the hill. He literally ran. I mean... I was just straight booking it up that hill. He looks like he's in shape, but apparently not. Uh, it's straight. It's straight this is uphill. The cost pole, like I said, uh, it's it's not stretched, and it was really cheap. So we won't pay up for them, but we will get them because people still buy them, man. We sell them. I sold one. I think we sold one yesterday. So they sell all the time. Okay, I got one. I'm still recovering from my run. Just a nice RLX bread and butter lens skull full of twenty bucks. I can't. No nonsense. What I miss? Um. Reseller Tom asked how much we spend per day sourcing. Oh, yeah. Good question. Yep. Homage shirt. This is Ohio State Buckeyes. So we pick up a lot of the Ohio State stuff. Ohio State not only is our local team, we don't like them, but they're our local team, but they have a lot of followers, one of the biggest in college football. So this is a Ralph Lauren size 4XB men's. Uh, Do we promote polo? at all? Yeah, we promote, uh, I think it's. We promote between 7 and 10%. I think it was. We, we at first we had a fix where it was only 10 percent and then we had the the range one where i think we started out at five to ten and now it's seven to ten but normally we, it, we play around with it a little bit when we look at our sales it's a lot of the times it's nine or ten percent so uh, also shout out k-way shop uh he had a bunch of ralph Lauren uh size xb in his last live which i thought was pretty informative but all right 35 bucks for that this is an rei co-op fleece vest not necessarily crazy money, crazy sell-through rate anymore, but we still pick it up. So yeah, so REI kind of has like a cult following. If people love REI, they love it, and that's like all they wear. Um, just a Nike golf polo, nice pattern to it. We like to pick up the newer Nike stuff. Also has a pocket, which um, is a nice thing you can add to the title. Make sure you add that it has a pocket. It has a pocket. Yeah. This is pretty daggone cool, I think. Um, it is a made in USA vintage. NASCAR shirt, I believe. Texaco says that on the on the front, which is I think it's pretty sweet. I might keep it, but I actually never keep clothes we buy. So I like money more than I like clothes. Um, yeah, Davy. I don't even know who is this. David Crockett. No, Davy. Davy Allison, maybe. I don't know. Cursive. So yeah, it's gonna be a Google Lens situation. Yeah, I mean that kind of stuff can go for a lot. So, but I don't really know exactly what it's worth. We'll see. Just a Nike pullover. Um, is it Nike Golf? Yeah, it's Nike Golf as well, which is always good to add Nike Golf to the title. Um, it kind of has like a vault yellow color, which is a really popular Nike color. I sell this for twenty five bucks. Uh, this is seventeen sixty four. I didn't buy this, but I'm I'm pretty sure this is a pretty decent brand. I think it has right? skulls on it. Yeah, it has skulls all we over. We love it. skulls. So even if it's not a great brand, if it's just an okay brand, we like to buy stuff with skulls on it. We think skulls has a pretty. Uh, people I don't love want to say cult following again, but people like skulls. He tries to steal on my phrasing. This is a what the heck brand is this? It, looks, it appears to be a J2. Not sure what the heck J2. The brand is. doesn't matter. This yeah, it's it's in Ohio State. It must be a big size. Based off the fact we picked it up. No, nope, just extra large. So we're kind of playing around with sports team stuff. We kind of found that almost everything sports team related we buy sells. Uh, no matter what the brand is, if we get it for a cheap price, we're always picking it up just to kind of test it, play with it. Ohio State's a really popular team. Probably get 20 bucks for this because the brand's kind of like a nothing brand. How many stores did we have to hit to find all these items? Well, first of all, um, this isn't all of them. There, there's a bunch more over there. Um, yeah. But we... I think it was eight, seven or eight stores. I think it was eight stores. Eight, yeah. Yeah. Eight well counting on Tuesday. Yeah. yeah like eight. It was eight stores. Yeah. So And we went stores. to several other stores where we didn't get anything. So if we go to a store and there's nothing there, we get in and out. We're not gonna stay there and I mean so, you can find stuff if you do that, but we're kind of in the volume game here, so if we don't see if it looks like it's already been kind of run through, we'll just leave that store and move on to the next one. So we don't sit around waiting a long time. Um, you can definitely get into the trap of staying at the same thrift store for way too long when you're not buying anything. <laughs> I 
It's just a polo Ralph Lauren polo. Again, I hate that. Um, yeah, so it's just a white one. We think white does better too than the uh, a lot of the like black or just blue color. Um, the cool patterns do the best, but I think white is actually pretty good too. Oh, this is a really good one here. Cropped and Barrow. Well, yeah, a lot of people hate on Cropped and Barrow. Yeah, yeah. They do, and I understand it. But new when it's new with tags, it honestly doesn't really sell that bad. Now, it might take a little bit longer to sell. The quick dry stuff is better. Quick dry stuff's better, but that stuff, I mean, it, you'd be surprised. Maybe 20 bucks. That sells. Now, don't go flooding the marketplace with yeah. Cropped and Barrow. That's our market. Yeah. Uh, Peter Willard shorts. So these are another pair. Yeah, two pairs. These were um, some of cut like yeah, Crown yeah. Sport. Sorry, Wiki. Mine's Wiki, not Crown Sport. Mine's Crown Sport. Uh, they had a couple stains on them, but they were really cheap. They were actually only two dollars. Yep. So I figured one, if we can't get the stains out, which for a nicer item like that, we might try to get the stains out. Yeah. But if we can't get it out, we know we can get two dollars for them. Uh -huh. So. We'll pick them up. This is a pair of Adidas shorts. Uh, they're a newer style. I haven't actually ever seen a pair like this with this uh, cool Adidas. Oh, it's like, like a lush. Yeah, more like a vintage style looking logo like they used to do. But yeah, these are so they're a newer style. Pick them up and uh, new style old logo. Hopefully, I don't know. I'm probably gonna list them since they're newer, at like 26, 27, maybe even 28 dollars. Who knows? Puma Golf. Um, Puma is not the best brand for us, but the golf stuff does seem to sell decently well um it might take a couple months might sit for a while but it does always eventually sell um probably sell this for like oh, 20 bucks beautiful farm that one thank you what is your profit goal per item resell tom i love your question my friend uh our profit goal per item is at least ten dollars so we want to we sell so many things a day that we we're like well if we have a 20 30 dollar goal on each item we're never going to find enough stuff to and continue it, to list every day yeah and the amount we need so we shoot for around 10 and but if we pay like there's kind of a fine line there because if we pay like under two dollars for something i mean we'll take six bucks profit on that item just be, if it's something that's really quick to list so how long it takes us to list is also a factor so if it's like a t-shirt something that we can get on in like a minute but it takes hardly any time to list shipping super fast and easy uh, super cheap to ship we only make money on the back end from the shipping when something's so light so sometimes we'll pick up stuff for a little less than ten dollars profit but the majority is ten dollars and over i would say yeah yeah i mean we have we we do have a lot that go over ten dollars it's not like oh yeah um, I mean, there's there's pro i would say there's more over ten than there than there are actually ten and less so. yeah yeah the majority but we try to put that at least ten on there uh these are levi's 501s but fly uh yep christian's already had a few of these I won't bore you with what why are you why are you saying button fly? Why do I say button fly? It's because the fly button Because it has a button fly. I'm just making sure I'm just making sure that we <laughs> say that we say it. Uh, this is just a pair of Carhartt cargo shorts. Um, nice bread and butter, probably twenty list it for twenty, maybe take fifteen. It's a pair of Reebok. New with tag shorts. Now this is the one that is not gonna look great. <laughs> when you look it up and that's because it is bad time of year it's one of up. those well yeah that too it is bad yeah. time of year but Reebok's one of those if it's a bigger size if it's new with tags if it's pretty cool you know um we'll pick it up and we will sell it but it has to be cheap and because you you might end up sitting on it for a little bit or i mean some we've had some that i've sold in a week sorry not just i but we we've sold in like yeah a week and some have sat for like a few months it just depends oh uh, i think we did get a question what's up guys what's up that hot wing video had me crying it actually had me crying as well yeah it had me crying for, involuntarily uh, yeah. yeah and then the next day the i was next, also crying again the next day i was but glad you enjoyed it yeah brandon yeah that was it was actually like i said we said in the beginning it was more fun than we thought it would be but yeah. also way worse also it's it gonna it's gonna haunt me for a while uh these are a pair of vineyard vines uh Breaker seersucker shorts. Um, seersucker is a great key word. Uh, makes them sell a little faster, not necessarily for way more money, but probably 25 bucks. Brooks Brothers, new with tag shorts. Uh, we try to stay away from BB. like the cotton style shorts a yeah, lot of the times. Uh, if it's polo, Brooks Brothers will consider it more, but the new with tags we think really helps us out a lot. So, picked it up. We love polo golf. Just a pair of polo golf check shorts. Uh, nice logo on the back. Used. We do buy used. Yeah, used. These babies are used. Paid like five bucks for them. Probably sell them for twenty to twenty-five. Under Armour shorts. They were pretty cheap, actually. That's what, like four dollars and eighty some cents. 
they're black, which classic golf short. Um, yeah, nothing crazy about that. We're listed. I'm probably listed at. I, I normally list them around like 22, 23 bucks, just to kind of stay at the higher end. And then we have offers, so make an offer. Jake Crew Rivington, 11 inch inseam. Be sure to include the inseam in the titles. A lot of people are looking for a specific inseam, new at tags, paid like two bucks for them, probably sell them for 25. Armani Exchange. This is uh, obviously Armani Exchange, is not Armani alone, <laughs> but uh, so it's a little. It's the, the Armani we can afford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like a camo style, so we picked it up. It was also only $2. So you'd be so surprised. The cargo. They have a decent yeah, sell through. Yeah, the cargo Armani exchanges seem to perform way yeah. better than the other. It's not bad, bad. it's just not going to sell for. $100. The pants can go for like forty bucks. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, they're gonna sell for normally in the twenties. J Crew, sweet spot. nine inch inseam. Don't know how I got two J Crews in a row, but um, paid like six bucks for them. Price on for twenty five. Ralph Lauren RLX. So this is that RLX brand, Ooh, the golf line. Pretty. Uh, pretty cool shorts. They did have a stain, small spot on them. We took the chance. Maybe we can get it out, but it only cost three dollars. So if not, we can sell it. It's it's in demand. People want the RLX shorts, so. If it doesn't come out, we can at least sell it for whatever. Um, speaking of RLX, I have a pair of RLX board shorts right board here. Shorts. Yeah, these are really nice. Um, not sure exactly because they have an all-over print to them, so I'm not sure exactly what to list these at. They're a size 36, so decent size. Um, how much you think? Maybe 35. I don't know, but I mean, we put swimwear. I wouldn't list 35. It's a pair of board board. Swimwear doesn't sell for as much as normal. I don't, it's just the all over prints so, don't sell. Yeah, I mean, I would list it for less just to... Maybe list it for 30 you think? Yeah, probably. Sell but, it for yeah. 25 maybe. For swimwear, if it's board shorts, we still put swim trunks. We still put... Because some people are looking for board shorts, but don't know they're called board shorts. So Yeah, it has no liner. Yeah, they'll just type in swim trunks. So we'll put in that, swimwear, and stuff like that. we got a couple comments. What time of year do you see the most sales with blazers? With blazers, reseller Tom, man, when did Christian's a blazer guy a lot of the times? I'd say the colder months. Yeah, really. we sold unless a, it's linen. We sold a lot in the colder yeah. months of the year, kind of like the fall time. Yeah, fall going into winter, we sold a lot. Yeah, um, but like you said, linen, we sold linen stuff, a couple blazers really fast. If, so. if it's a linen or like a really fine wool, uh, it'll still sell all year round. But yeah, the best time of year is definitely in the winter time. Yeah, colder sure. months. Uh, how many items do you list per day? So this is, there's kind of a weird, not weird, I don't know. We've had, we've said both things, but honestly what happens is we each take pictures of 60 items a day. Yep. So it, it ends up being 120 a day that we take pictures of. We only take pictures on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thursday we source, and the weekend we don't do anything. Yep. Um, but... Our VAs, we send our photos to the VAs, yeah. and they take, they push 75 listings to eBay and the other platforms a day. So yeah. technically, we take pictures of 120 in total between the two of us. But only 75 are But really only pushed. 75 get pushed. So right. 75 items get pushed to eBay every day. And we should probably, honestly, ramp that number up a little bit. But yeah, uh, we probably will eventually. Yeah. Once we get, we have to source a little better. Um, hopefully, yeah. get we, some we still do there. everything else ourselves. Yeah, our mom does help. Some she she's, uh, a, source. she's a little some. sourcing. She's monster. a sourcing. She likes to shop. She likes to buy stuff. Hates taking pictures. Uh, hates taking pictures. Yeah. She does. If we ask her, she'll take pictures for us. If we're behind a little bit or something, if we need to yeah. get a few more done, but um, we still have to work on a little bit of time management. It's mainly my fault because <laughs> Billabong. Yeah, I watch my daughter during the day, so yeah, he's kind of a wall. Yeah, I go morning and then evening working. So. Billabong board shorts, new with tags. How much do they need to go for? I don't know. 25. Probably listed at 20 something. Call it a day. If somebody makes an $18 offer. Vineyard Vines swim trunk. See, liner. And if it has a liner, we always take a picture of the liner so people know that. Um, it's a 3XT, so it's a bigger size, which is one of the main reasons I picked it up. Yep, Vineyard Vines. You know we like that brand. Vinny Vines. Vinny Vines. Uh, Nike Golf. Are these sports shorts? No, these are just shorts. Okay. Mm -hmm. Noises, guys. I'm sorry. Just a Nike, a pair of Nike golf shorts. Um, would you call this plaid? It kind of looks more window. -pane. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Kind of like a window pane uh, design to them, um, pattern, I should say. Uh, maybe twenty five bucks for these. All the unique looking Nike $25. stuff. Yeah. Oh, I, there's kind of a recurring theme. That's kind of the price range range we hit with a lot of the shorts. Um, you can only ask so much for a pair of shorts. Nike golf shorts, another pair. This is a newer style. 
Um, I can tell because of the waistband, because of how it buttons, and the uh, tag. It's pretty, pretty new. Size 32. Uh, yeah, probably list these around. If you look the same. up the exact number, you can tell exactly what they're. Yeah, twenty three, twenty four dollar range, and then somebody makes an offer. Get them gone. Vineyard Vines board shorts, bread and buddy. Oh no, I said buddy. Sorry about that. <laughs> probably twenty bucks for these. Say sorry to me. Say sorry to them. I'm sorry. J Crew shorts, nine inch inseam, new with tags. So they had a that, that first store we go to had a lot of new with tag J Crews. So that that was nice. It did it did. Uh, Walter Hagen new attached golf shorts. Uh, we paid like five bucks for these. Uh, I'm not gonna get a ton of money out of Walter Hagen, but um, probably like 20 bucks. But it's new tags, so it should sell quicker. Uh, Greg Norman shorts that are new as well. Um, these were all from the thrift store. We paid up a little bit. I mean, Greg Norman, not the best brand, but it was new. It's like eight dollars we paid for it, so um, we'll definitely at least get eight dollars for it, that's for sure. Probably, probably mid-20s, if I had to guess. Uh, new tag Ralph Lauren shorts. Um, pretty self-explanatory. You're going to get only so much. Even if they're new tags, you're yeah, not going yeah. to get a ton out of them. I'll list them at 40 Paid up. Pay like 10 bucks for them. Probably list them at, like, like you said, 40 Under Armour okay. golf shorts. These are a little smaller. Small people still golf. You know what I mean? Small, uh, peop small people still golf. <laughs> what does that even mean? It means exactly what it means. Okay, okay. Uh, these are a little... More worn, so I probably list them at twenty. Whoa, these have elephants all over them. What elephants? That's pretty cool. What do you see? These? I didn't even notice that. I thought they were like floral. Wow, these are really cool. These have ele these are RL are they RLX? They're polo golf. Okay, so they're polo golf. Polo golf men's golf shorts, obviously it's in there. But <laughs> there's an elephant print all over them. Paid like seven bucks for them. Uh, I'm gonna guess at least. I mean, I list I list them high. <laughs> I list them high. Do you guys? Do you guys just go to Goodwill? Reseller Tom? No, we don't. All over the place. We go to thrift stores. We go to Goodwills. We do go to Goodwills. Like bargain to, clearance stores. Yeah, um, and then um, places like deal stores, Marshalls, and yeah, um, TJ Maxx. We'll go to those. Buy clearance a items. A lot of those stores. they don't. I mean, it's weird. They'll either have nothing or they'll have a whole bunch of stuff, and then you'll it's. Normally it's just that's why I said sometimes we walk in we're like okay there's gonna be nothing here yeah. that we just walk. Normally right it's out. just thrift stores and Goodwills yeah. for the most part. So all, um, all of our used stuff come from yeah. Goodwills and thrift stores. We used to go to the bins a long time ago, but we got we got trampled a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Nike golf shorts, not much to say. Same thing. Did pay a lot, and it's golf season. Would you believe it? I had another pair of Nike golf shorts. Uh, these have a polka dot oh, press. Fancy. Yeah, these have polka dot prints all over. Uh, like I was trying to say earlier, I don't think I actually... This one is from Goodwill, Tom. Yeah, Goodwill Barb here. Um, like I was trying to say earlier, the unique patterns that we always pick up in anything golf, because we think it makes it sell quicker. Not necessarily for more money, but it normally makes it sell quicker. See if we got a sale, I can tell you guys about. Oh, we sold a Patagonia jacket for $40. Wow. And Ralph Lauren swim trunks wow. for $35. Uh, thank you to whoever bought those. In a Vineyard Vines... <laughs> Shirt for fifty, so yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Who's uh, ragging? Sorry. Uh, these are Fabletics shorts. Um, a lot of people, I don't know if a lot of people, but a lot of people don't like Fabletics that much. I personally do. They seem so, to sell decent. They the men stuff sells well. Women's. Oh no, they don't buy the women's. Work by the women's. But this is this was uh, four dollars. Oh jeez, four dollars. I almost fell down. I, thought, up. I, I really wanted to shut. <laughs> so yeah. It was a, We'll think that I think that'll sell for twenty, maybe. We'll North Face hiking shorts. Um, I don't know why stores always mark up North Face. It's really not that expensive, but um, probably twenty bucks for these. This is ah, I dropped it. Oh, is this a woman's? This is a woman's. This is a pretty cool pair of Nike. I would say kind of like a hiking, like outdoor style short. Uh, it's, it's vintage as well. It's got that gray tag. That's vintage, right? I don't think so. It looks, I don't know. It's a woman's. <laughs> it's a woman's. Uh, uh, it was cheap, too. It was, wow, that was only like $3. $3, jeez Louise. Are these men's or women? Okay, I have a pair of L.L. Bean hiking shorts. Uh, okay, Tony knows what they are. Uh, L.L. Bean hiking shorts. They're women's shorts. Um, they were really cheap. They're like $4, which is probably why we picked them up. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to guess list them for 20 I like buying the, the outdoor brands and women's shorts because... I feel like all everybody that goes hiking if a guy goes hiking it's because a girl's like hey you want to go hiking and you're like oh yeah sure whatever 
Whatever you so, want. At least in my, like, I, in my opinion, I don't know. Uh, these are free people movement leggings. Now, we don't normally pick up leggings unless it's like Lulu or, and they're really cheap. But uh, free people movement does a little bit better than free people. So we uh, figured we'll try try the free people movement out. Um, here's a pair of, oh, these are new as heck. Cool. Who was the bully as a kid? Oh, man. You really have to ask. Yeah, recently. Like, huh? <laughs> I am older, but I was bullied quite frequently. I was also the verbal bully, though, so I would kind of amp him up. He, he would hurt me. Yeah. Uh, He'd hurt my feelings. I would, I would <laughs> say mean things, and then he would... Started off when we were really little, and he would bite me all the time, apparently. I don't know. I was probably... But I didn't baby. snitch. I didn't tell anybody. I just had a bunch of red marks all over me, apparently, and from him biting me. But then, when we got older, he wrestled and was bigger and stronger than me, so he would beat me. I took the hell with that yeah. bully. Yeah. Uh, this is a pair of Allbirds. Um, they are the natural run shorts. Uh, new attacks here. Uh, Allbirds clothing is not as good as the shoes, in my opinion, but uh, probably sell these for like 25 bucks. How long did it take to get to 11,000 items? Too long. It took... <laughs> Man. I remember when we got to 1,000 and we thought we're going to be rich. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was like, man, we didn't make like any more money. And then we got to 2,000 and it was like, man, still not making a lot. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, because, I mean, this is, it's a two income because him and me. So, uh, it took pretty close to two years, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. Two years, probably two and a half to get to 11,000. It's our listing goals. It's crazy how much they've changed. I remember yeah. when our, <clears throat> our listing goals used to be like 10 a day. Yeah. Each. So we'd be putting on 20 a day, and then yeah. we slowly ramp it up, to 30. Up, up. That's why I said we should be putting more on now, because yeah. uh, we're not progressing. We haven't ramped it up in a while. Yeah, we need to turn the dial a little bit. I feel like we said ramp it up. He said oh. ramp it up so much in the Spice Challenge that <laughs> we're ramping it. <laughs> I feel like we say that a lot. I'm sorry, uh, at least I didn't say I could see colors. That's true. You can. Sorry though. for the I'm banter. technically not wrong. Sorry for the banter. Um, Patagonia board shorts. Did you just go? 25 bucks. You just went. You went twice in a row. You're too slow. This is a carbon to cobalt. We think carbon to cobalt is pretty good at men's brand. Nothing crazy, obviously, because it's just a pair of shorts, but should be pretty good. Oh, it has a rip in it. Shoot. Has a, oh, well. It has a rip? Go ahead. Wow. Um... If you know how much these go for, let me know. I've not really seen this exact style before with this giant um, Jordan logo, Jumpman logo on it. But these are just a pair of basketball shorts. So. Oh, God, you... You're about to see Cody get bullied again. <laughs> uh, probably sell these for like 30 bucks, but we thought they were kind of cool. Very unique looking. And uh, obviously Jumpman's going to be good. This is... You just heard me say that there's a rip in it, so it's not as good as I thought. But it's it's barely through. You can barely see it. Blah blah blah. Whatever. But where's the rip at? Right here. We yeah. paid we paid up for this a lot. No, not a lot. We paid like seventeen dollars for this. It's a lot. It's new. So this is a Philadelphia Phillies kind of the vintage style <clears throat> hoodie. It's it's nice. I mean these these kind of things they go for it's pretty good money. Uh, it's got a little bit of a hole in it. Yeah. So hopefully I can get at least. 20 something to get our money back but that was a lot if it, was, if it didn't have a hole i mean that would be really good fun it's weird because sometimes we'll get something with a hole and you'll be like oh what a mistake but then you list it for how much you paid for it and it sells like next day yeah. and you're like oh i'm not doing that if you ever hear us say this sold for eight dollars it's because it has a big flaw yeah <laughs> but it's sold fast uh just a johnny o t-shirt um, johnny o is a good like surfer brand i'm sure most most people know what this is by now uh probably list it for 20 take 15 didn't pay hardly anything for it this is, I don't even know, Rudis Christian. Ooh, wrestling out here, do this one. Okay. Here, this is, <laughs> I don't even know what this, oh, this is another free people movement. This is a, I, I'm not a woman, so I don't know even how you would put this on. It's like a, what is it called, a rocker? Is it a rocker? Oh, I, actually, it has a tag. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Doesn't say. Never mind. <laughs> free people movement again, same reason as the other one. Hopefully. It's like a body. Is it a body suit? It's ribbed. Um, so, ladies, if uh, you know what it is, feel a sneeze coming. This is this brand is called Rudis. Um, it's got like a weird kind of like hexagonal. That's not a hexagon. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like a weird geometric logo right here. Um, these this brand is like a wrestling brand. So, why are you looking at me? Because you took a big step. Anyway, it's like a wrestling brand. Um, doesn't sell for a lot, but it sells very quickly, like surprisingly quickly. 
Uh, this will probably sell in a day for like 15 bucks. Couldn't believe it. Uh, Peter Millar. Button down. Pay it up a little. This is probably like almost $8 for this. But it's 100% linen. So it should be pretty daggone good. Uh, we're going to probably list that in the 30-ish. Upper 30s, maybe 40, and then just take it off. Uh, this is just a Tiger Woods uh, men's long sleeve polo. Can't believe he left Nike, bro. Hmm? Can't believe he left Nike. Yeah, Tiger Woods no longer with Nike, so this yeah, stuff might be going up in value. You never know. Or down. <laughs> up or down, yeah. Uh, this is a, a way older one. Um, probably sell this for like 20 bucks. If you're excited about the Sunday Red Collection, a lot of people are hating on the logo. New Tiger's new thing. What's the um, logo look like? It's just a, like a tiger. Really? Yeah, some people don't like it. Uh, Brooks Brothers button down. It's check. It's orange and white. It's pretty cool. We buy these if they're cheap. This one was like a dollar sixty. So. It's, it's just a tiger. Yeah. Like the Le Tigre. No, it's like a like a tiger on the front right there. Oh. Ohio State. Uh, Nike. Yeah. Go blue. Ohio State Nike uh, quarters that pull over. Probably like twenty bucks. Sports team again. We love uh, sports team. Stuff. This is a Nike Shield sleeveless hooded jacket. Pretty cool. Cleveland Browns. Shout out the Browns if you like the Browns. I don't really like the NFL that much, but uh, pretty good. I mean, this we paid about nine dollars for this. Hopefully, it sells. We're gonna list it high because we saw some comps that were pretty good in like the sixty dollar range. So hopefully, we get somewhere around there, 40, 50 bucks. It's just a uh, Ralph Lauren bread and butter button down shirt. Um, it's got a pony logo on the outside, so we'll include that. Um, like I said, pony, not pony. Um, this is bucks. a Ranella Raffler and button down. Like I said, we've sold a lot of button downs this month and every month we've been reselling. Um, I think this month we've sold either four or five thousand dollars worth of button downs. So they uh, might not look like a high sell through rate, but I'm telling you what, they sell. We do have a lot of them though. So uh, yeah, time to start picking up the silk hawaiian shirt um these babies are going to start selling like crazy here pretty soon uh, this is a tommy bahama 100 percent silk uh probably sell this for like 35 bucks this is a two-piece suit we actually bought two more of these <clears throat> but didn't want to show you a whole bunch of repeats this is a used heart schaffner marks made in usa wool two-piece suit boom focus Michael. okay uh this, hopefully, I'm probably going to list it around the 60 something dollar range and then uh, hopefully get upper 40s for it at least. We've we got paid, let's see, that is seven, six dollars and like 90 cents for a two piece suit, so that's pretty good. We've got a mizzen in Maine, as Conan O'Brien would O'Brien. say. <laughs> yeah, we love Conan, not only because he has red hair, but he's funny. What's your sell through rate on Nike items? I think it depends. Over 100%. Yeah, I think it depends on the Nike item, but I think it's over. Right around 25. There. Ours personally is over 100%. Yeah. We, like I said, we pick up a lot of sports team stuff though, so um, that uh, it's going to help it. My turn, my turn, my turn. Want to do Viore? Sure. It's a Viore tank top now. Viore, everybody knows Viore now. It's, their stores are raising the prices on them. How do you wear this one too? Oh, there it goes. This is a woman's tank top. It's an extra large. Paid up for it. Paid about 10 bucks for it. They're not going to sell for a ton. No, probably, I'm probably going to list it at low 30s maybe take a 25 dollar offer but the sell through rate on it was like two three hundred percent so oh, yeah you gotta pick that up i'll pay i pay up a little bit if i can get rid of it in a second just call it a day make 10 bucks 15 yeah. bucks um this is just like a ribbed the, i've noticed this style of under armor something in my eye this style what? of under armor golf stuff sells like crazy and it sells really quickly uh it must be more expensive in the retail stores i'm guessing by how fast they sell but this we paid seven dollars for this million. probably sell this for like 30 uh, because like i said it's got like this rib it's just a nike jacket like a lightweight jacket kind of windbreaker style just green no team affiliated with it used but it only cost us like three dollars and 80 something cents so we'll pick it up probably sell it in a few months call it a day water break yeah we need a water break you need a water break i already took one this is a Lacoste jacket. I think it's a sport. Is it a sport? Nope. Just Lacoste jacket. The price was lowered a lot uh, than I thought it would be. So we took it and it was 
I don't know how much this stuff goes for, but I knew a Lacoste jacket for six dollars, five or six dollars, five dollars. What, what are the comments? I already answered them. Oh, yeah. A Lacoste jacket for like five dollars. We'll be able to make money on that for sure. This is a Ralph Lauren The Big Oxford. Um, it's also got a flesh pony. Uh, be sure to include flesh pony if you ever see this um, in your title. But yeah, nice bread and butter. Probably sell this for like twenty to twenty five dollars. Same thing with this one. It's not the big, whatever he said, but it's just a classic fit. But it does have the flesh pony, so we like flesh ponies. That sounds weird. Um, <laughs> oh, this has a stain. Oh, no. Oh, it has a stain. Uh, I want to retract my $25 to $10. Uh, this is a Brooks Brothers button-down shirt. Uh, is it a certain style? No. Just a regular Brooks... Uh, yeah, it's Brooks. the regent. Oh. No, it's not. No, it's the original. The original shirt. Yeah, the original sh polo shirt. Um, it's got a logo on the outside. We don't buy these unless they have like the little Birch Brothers logo. But if they do have the logo, we pick them up if we can get them for like five bucks. This thing will probably sell for twenty dollars. This is a Faraday, Faraday button-down shirt that is made out of. Let's see. Let's find out together, friends. I feel like Mr. Rogers. Hey, how are you? Where's your bag? Where's your bag on tag? Is it's Lennon. Jeremy Lennon. Come on. I just wanted to. Well, sure. Tony figures that out. No, stop. I, I'll move on. I'm almost ready. This is an Untuck It, nice bread and butter brand. There it is, no, stop it, Betty. We don't pay up for it anymore, but it's just a nice cotton Untuck It. Um, it's only a linen large. blend, but it should be good still. Linen blend, 30, hopefully 30, mid 30s, maybe a little higher. Ooh, this is, this this is, is J. Crew. Don't forget the, the Baird McNutt. It is a, the Baird McNutt is the Irish linen, where they got the Irish We've linen. We saw some blazers made out of that. Yep, so that makes it a little bit better. Try to include that in your title if you can fit it. It's a slim fit and it's 100% linen. So you know that linen. Jeremy, linen, 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 linen. This is just a Nike hoodie. Nice bread and butter. Like I said, 100% selfie while Nike. Probably 25 bucks for this. This is a Under Armour shirt, but helps the value out. All right, here is the Wounded Warrior Project and it's new with tags. So anytime you see Under Armour with Wounded Warrior Project, it's not necessarily going to increase the value a ton, but the selfie rate goes up, what we have found. Correct? Yep. 100%. Yeah, all the Wounded Warrior stuff we bought, I've sold, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Eyes on Salt Shout out veterans. We yeah. love our vets. Yeah. It's not because we make money off of them, though. No. <laughs> this is an Eyes on Saltwater Hawaiian shirt. New with tags. Uh, paid like two bucks for it. Probably sell it for 20 Um Kind of like a bread and butter. We only pick it up if it's a big size or if it's new with tags. Which this is both. And cheese. Two XL. Yeah. This is a Peter Millar vest. That's pretty cool. Also, it says, oh, what is the Walloon Cup? I don't know what the Walloon Cup is, but Peter Millar vest will be pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, we have an Under Armour New Attacks Freedom T-shirt. Um, paid like four bucks for this. Probably sell it for around 20, I would say. Maybe list it for 22 and sell it for 20. Uh, Under Armour Freedoms seem to be really popular. Freedom. The, all these Under Armour shirts with the big American flags on them are normally freedoms and are normally uh, going to sell quicker than a normal t-shirt. This was the biggest sale of your eBay career. Do you see my merch? Uh, it might be my, it's either my Keton blazer or oh, that. I had that, I had, I bought some weird tripod that was made out of carbon fiber and I sold it for like $700. Yeah, that was from Goodwill. Yeah, I paid like $50 for Clothing -wise, it. Clothing-wise, it was the Keton Blazer that sold for like 500 bucks. Yeah. Caleb sells $2. Hey, thanks, Caleb. Whoa. Wow, appreciate that, man. Hey, how are you? I mentioned you in the beginning of the video, I think. So yeah, we did. You better go back and watch it. <laughs> I don't remember what I said, so. <laughs> this is a Tommy Bahama football shirt that is new with tag i think it was new with tag, was new with tag? No. chicago bears baby it's not new with tag it's silk right yeah it's 100 percent silk but it does have the chicago bears logo on it pretty cool yep that kind of stuff goes for more you have to have the right buyer though this is a uh, croft and borrow is that how you say it i feel like i said it wrong last not time croft and borrow sure. quick dry men's shirt um nice bread and butter um this is the kind of stuff you pick up when you have uh, an 11,000 item store. Um, not going to sell super quickly, but the sell-through rate on this stuff is actually pretty decent. Yeah, especially the quick dry. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Bahama again, another 100% silk guy. The Veracruz K. I've never seen a logo, like a, a style number on them before, but it's pretty cool. Yep. Uh oh, another question. Hold on, don't answer that yet. 
Don't, don't start. That. Don't start yet. <laughs> hey guys, first time coffee. here. Love you guys. Oh, thanks, Will. William, appreciate that. Oh yeah. Well, thanks for turning that into an advertising expense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Caleb. I do everything I can. Uh, this is a uh, Wounded Warrior project. Another one of those Wounded Warriors. Uh, new attacks. Probably sell this for like twenty bucks. We love you too, William. We appreciate you. Go back and watch the spicy video, and hopefully you laugh a little. Uh, or you'll hate us. Yeah, or you'll never watch us again. <laughs> um, this is a Columbia jacket. I believe it's a women's because it just says 4X. It's a packable, so if you look right here, there's a cool little hood in here. So, always include packable if it has a hood like that. And then, yeah, just a lightweight jacket. Uh, this is a Tory Richardson 100% silk men's Hawaiian shirt. Um, not the greatest brand in the world. Not, I wouldn't say put it on par with uh, Tommy Bahama, but they're pretty decent. They normally sell for around 25, 30 bucks. So, decent brand. Only if it's silk, though, or linen. This is a Fanatics. If you count how many times we say this is a in a video, it's probably a ton. Yeah, can, do we have a this is the count going in the chat? <laughs> this is a Fanatics. I said it again. I literally just said it. Second time. Well, there's no. University of Kentucky jacket. So Fanatics is a little bit of a cheaper brand. We don't always pick it up if it's just a plain team that's not popular. But Kentucky is pretty popular, even though they just lost in the first round. So that's embarrassing. Roll Tide. Roll Tide. That's not... Just kidding. Yeah. This is just another Untuck It men's button-down shirt. Bread and butter. It was in really good shape, too. Um, probably 20 bucks. This is a Vineyard Vines Performance Breaker Short. And they are big, as you can see. 52B. 52B. It's good for me. Oh, God. You know, pay, are we rhyming now? Pay $3 for that, so hopefully it sells pretty good. These are a pair of Duluth Trading Board Shorts. Duluth um, Trading? Yeah. I barely know her. That's my size. Nice. Paid 4 bucks for these. Probably sell them for, list them for 20 Maybe sell them for 18 William was the, I don't know which one was your size, but hey, if you want it, man. It'll be up soon, I promise. Uh, this is a pair of an Adidas golf shorts. Nice little style here. Uh, lighter weight, cost $5, so hopefully 52B. Yeah, 52B, man. These are nice shorts, I'm telling you. If you want them. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna price them at yet, but. These are just Tommy Bahama linen blend shorts. Probably sell these for like 20 bucks. I just forget I have the mic on, like I have to yell. I think he probably sounds like he's screaming. Uh, this is a Nike Golf. If it is a tour performance like this, we like to include tour performance. Apparently, I feel like they're the same. But I think they're supposed to be better. So I don't know. But this is like a, a little higher a flat. end. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't think they're they really that they don't high sell them They just that. put tour performance in the top. So, uh, these are pretty cool looking though. Um, $4.99. Um... You know what, William, for you, sure, $4.99, there it is. <laughs> Nike, Nike golf shorts. Travis Matthew golf shorts, nice bread and butter. Um, paid $3 for them, so it didn't pay out anything for them. Probably sell them for $20. I know you're kidding, William. And I'm kidding, I wouldn't sell them for that little, <laughs> sorry. How dare you? I only got 71 yesterday when normally I get 71 from my best store on Thursdays. Rough one for me. Oh, yeah, Caleb, I feel you, man. There's nothing... More disappointing when you go to a store and you're like, I'm going to get a ton from this place. And then it's the time of year. I mean, yeah. I feel like the transition, yeah, stores are going through a transition just like we are. So, yeah, they're trying to get their old stuff gone. And in the trend, the, the time of getting new stuff, geez, that was bad. That was bad <laughs> this is Untuck It, Untuck It pair of shorts. Haven't sold a bunch of Untuck It shorts, haven't found them a lot. So, hopefully, they do pretty good. Um, List them, I don't know. But Same. Caleb, Caleb buys stuff. I mean, his, if you ever, yeah, yeah. if you've not watched Caleb's uh, YouTube videos before, his sell through rate is ridiculous. He's got yeah, like, he's over 100%. I think. Yeah, it's, it's, crazy. I, I looked, actually, I watched a replay of your live because Christian said he commented in it, so I wanted to see what he said. Um, and I looked at ours, like I said, in the last 90 days, we sold almost 4,000 items. But we have a on just on eBay. Yeah, on, on eBay. On, on. And yeah, we, have, we sell cross platform. Right. So and so with that, our eBay store is about a thirty, almost a forty percent sell through rate. So if you count Poshmark and Macari, we're probably closer to like 45, 50, 50, Yeah, it's like I would 50. say. So yeah, uh, yeah we hundred uh, percent. You gotta be way pickier about what you're what you're buying. Yeah. So 
Yeah. We just buy everything. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're we're kind of playing the volume game. Yeah. Which is not definitely not for everybody. Only for full timers, I would say. Uh, Bonobos men's button down shirt, probably twenty bucks. This is a rag and bone new with tag. Now we uh paid up a little bit. Paid about ten bucks for this because it is new. Uh, we got this from a thrift store, and I don't know why I just said that. Um, <laughs> but I don't know how much this is going to sell for. I didn't buy it, but uh, Christian, if you looked it up, I mean, it's a $225 new. I, I'm going to be honest, I did not look it up yeah. because it was like 10 bucks. I was like, I mean, might as well roll the dice on it. I'm going to guess 35 bucks if I... I mean, maybe more. It is new, so maybe more. At, at least. I like to say like the least amount I think I'll get for it, but uh, Beretta. <laughs> Beretta. Which is just a Beretta button-down and, uh, shirt. Um, and, uh, yeah. Beretta has some really good outerwear stuff. So if you see like a outerwear jacket or anything like that, I would definitely give that a Google Lens. <clears throat> excuse, <laughs> excuse me, I'm losing my voice. I would definitely give that a Google that. Lens and look up the exact model. Um, but just a button-down shirt, probably like twenty bucks for this. Forty-five to fifty percent at your scale is impressive, in my opinion. Thanks, Caleb. I appreciate that. Uh, we're trying. You know, it's volume is is tough sometimes but we're trying then you have the old dead inventory you have to go yeah, through so yeah, yeah. and then That's... he said you asked my mercari opinions what are y'all's thoughts okay this is we already sell on mercari so it's kind of different yeah 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 like we're, yeah. we cross this there already we did so. like over like forty four thousand dollars worth of sales on mercari last year so to us it sounds great yeah even if they don't do it for a long time yeah i mean it's not gonna hurt us any if they stop doing it but there, we also use VAs to cross Yeah, I had the same thoughts as you guys did. Um, yeah. But I, my original thought was, how are they going to make money if they're not, yeah, you know, using any fees? But then I thought, well, actually, my mom and I were talking about it, and I was like, well, if they're incentivizing you to keep your money in their little area, in their Macari uh, account, yeah. Then they, they have to, to be used. They have to be using that money for something. So I mean, they have to store it somewhere because it's staying in an account. So maybe they're making money off the off all your money staying in their account. So I mean, oh, I don't know, it, it, like fractional bank. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, there's there's nothing that makes sense why they would do it other than you know getting sellers on their platform and then and then going back to the old way. But then that would make a lot of people mad. So why would they, they do could, that? They could be desperate, but I think their numbers were up. So yeah. I'm. I, I'm not sure. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I think you just got to wait and see what happens. But yeah. uh, we're definitely going to keep listing there because we already do. So then we're going to relist everything there yeah, so we yeah, can get yeah. that uh, no fee. I don't know if people know, but Macari is very front loaded. So they like yeah. a new listings. Yeah. Uh, so we, that's why we, yeah, do having a 10,000 item there. store on Macari is like, it's pointless unless you're putting new yeah, stuff on. Yeah. A lot of the old stuff doesn't get seen. Yeah. So you know, it gets not like eBay in that way. But. Hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, they keep doing it, and they they're finding a way to make money, and, and we can keep those zeller zeros. I can find zero and seller at the same time. Keep those zeller, yeah, you know, the the zero percent fees for as long as they can. So and maybe it'll create more and competition. Who knows? They might go out of business, and uh, <laughs> we'll never get to sell them there again. I don't know. We'll see. Just a southern tide uh, men's button. That also has a logo on the outside, which is good. Uh, probably twenty two. How long have we been doing all this, Hammer? Somebody said. Think for yourself, said. Oh man, think for yourself. Sorry, geez. Uh, maybe, maybe they're going to go to an advertising model where they run banners on the site. Plus, they'll probably make interest on the money. Yeah, I said the the interest. But yeah, they could be doing banners, going more they're, advertising route. They're we'll buying see. Bitcoin. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> if you're already on there, I say full steam ahead. I'm. Te this is Caleb. Full steam ahead. I'm tempted, but don't want to be distracted by shiny objects. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eBay is definitely top dog for us. They have been. And then, plus we have VAs. Yeah, I mean. they probably will be. We already have VAs sending stuff over to Macari. So yeah. if yeah. we had to like manually go by hand and redo right. all that ourselves, yeah. it wouldn't really be worth it, I don't think. If we had to choose right now, like Macari or eBay, or eBay, yeah. like, no we're going to stay with eBay. So yeah. yeah, if you're if you have to pick between one of the two, not just you guys, but anyone on there already should hit it hard now. Yeah, we think everybody. Everybody, if you're on Macari, just yeah fire away at it now like i said i wouldn't take away from ebay to put on macari i would do both if you could so. yeah yeah definitely 100%. um william thoughts on southern marsh swim trunks going into summer southern marsh you ever heard of southern marsh i have what are your um, thoughts on it i don't think it has a great sell-through rate to be honest i haven't looked at, i don't know I haven't um looked it up, so. 
if you could get it for like the five dollar price range maybe try it out i mean there's no telling it could still sell if you're promoting if you're not promoting i probably wouldn't pick it up but yeah. um, william if, if you know something we don't man yeah you're like hey this based off this last year's information everything changes yeah, it yeah, could yeah, be better this year i will we love to learn new brands well yeah. he already knows it but i didn't uh this is a david donahue button down this is uh was a two dollars and fifty cents so don't pay a lot for david donahue but like i said Casual button downs are number three seller. Three or four, I don't remember. This is a proper cloth seersucker button down shirt. Um, kind of taking a chance on this. Um, paid like two dollars and fifty cents for it, so didn't pay hardly anything. Um, doesn't have a size. I don't know if any of these. I've never seen a proper cloth shirt Ooh, with that's a size. Seersucker? Yeah. So I've never seen personally. I don't know if they even put sizes on their clothes. I've never seen one with a size, but uh, I'm gonna probably list this for like thirty bucks and see what happens. William said fifty percent sell through rate. Yeah, in the last sounds, uh, ninety right. days. Yeah, that sounds about right. But it's not. It was also not. Um, that's pretty swim good. Trunk, it was not swim trunk season. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So you got to keep that in mind in the last ninety days. So people were are going to start buying me even more now. So hopefully, how much the sell through rate goes much goes up, and then uh, yeah, you can make good money on it. Uh, we found that swim trunk. At least I did. Swim trunks never really sell for a ton. They no, you can yeah. sell a lot of them. Yeah, in the right time of the year, but one, if you hit the wrong time of the year, they're not going to sell. Only, I mean, the vacation time of year is when people are, are buying a lot of swim trunks. Swim trunks are good to pick up off season. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Some, for some reason, like during the swim season, they really, I mean, I know why they really crank the prices up for those things. Yeah, but you're gonna have to hold them for a long time. Yeah, at that point, because they do not really sell at all if it's not swim trunk season. Twenty ASP. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Around twenty dollars. Yeah. Uh, that's not horrible. I mean, that's something we would probably pick up, to be honest with you. Yeah, where do you all source? Uh, we source at thrift stores. We source at Goodwill. We source at... Uh, it's a thrift store. Uh, well, but Goodwill. Everybody separates the two. Like a traditional thrift store versus a Goodwill. and then We source uh, at, like, store return stores where they get store returns and sell store returns. We source at, like, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, buy stuff on clearance. Come, come if you that's can imagine a, you, a place to buy stuff stuff that we've been there and we've, we've bought stuff from yeah that's how we get so much new stuff such a variety of items because we go all over the place so we're not just yeah. going to thrift stores we're going to retail stores we're going to um discount stores all kinds of different places nice william you picked up six today of those southern march hopefully they sell for you if they do let us know if they sell quick oh yeah heck yeah, let yeah us know. this is a greater half shirt now I don't know the sell through rate on Greater Half. Christian picked this up, but it has a cool print. America. Yeah, honestly, then, that's uh, why I picked the, it up. It has the elephant, which hopefully people know that is the Republican, um, what is it, symbol? Yeah, symbol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, with this time of year, especially 4th of July is coming up, so I mean. And voting in November. Don't forget that. Yeah, it's also an election year, so anything like political. Um, it's probably going to be a decent performer. You picked them up for three dollars, William. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah you ain't gonna, you're not going to lose money. So heck no. no. Eyes on Saltwater, another one of those, a Hawaiian shirt, new with tags, probably twenty bucks. Uh, this is an Adidas vest, Climacool. We always put Climacool in the title if it is Climacool. And then yeah, kind of golf style, so it's a bigger size. So hopefully it will sell rather quickly. And this only costs a dollar or two dollars, so we don't have to sell it for a lot to make money. We'll take, like I said, that's when we'll take that fifteen dollar offer. That's that's where we, I say, differ from a lot of some people that resell because we can. We're we're okay with selling that for fifteen bucks. We'll just get rid of it. That's fine. Even I mean, even thirteen, fourteen bucks. I'll take that offer. Oh yeah, definitely. So, Oakley Golf Polo um, paid like two dollars and fifty cents for it. Probably sell it for twenty. Oakley Golf stuff does pretty good. I think it's not like basic. Yeah. Uh, is it Bonobos or Bonobos? I don't I don't really know which one it is, but it's a button down and it is pretty decent. Sell through rate. Um will we, we will probably get the low twenties for that again, if I had to guess. Another Under Armour golf polo, uh really um that basically just a bread and butter. Um probably list it for twenty. Do you ever take offers just to help the algorithm on eBay? If it's an old item. Uh, if it's an older item, like probably four months, three months and back, we'll normally take the offer if like 90% yeah. of the time. Um, if it's something that has a lot of value and we know that it's 
good, we'll uh, hold on to it and, and wait for a good offer. But if it's something that's cheap anyway, and it's like, oh, am I going to hold is, out yeah. for $12 versus $10? Like, no, I'm going to take the 10 Like, that's fine. We'll get rid of it. Or even... It would depend gonna, on the offer. Yeah, really. if it was like, oh, this was $24 to get it listed at, and oh, I offered 18 Am I going to hold out for another $6? Like, no, I'll take the 18 Well, sometimes, even if it's like, say it's in the 17000 like we're way past the 40000 now in our number system. If it's in like the 17000 we have it listed for 20 They make a $10 offer. We're going to take the $10 offer. Yeah. This is a... Eddie Bauer short sleeve button down. It has the... Uh, this little yellow logo Trevex, right here. Which means Trevex. And then uh, Trevex is... A, we think it's a better line. Also the first ascent. If it's blue, blue is first ascent, which is also a little bit better. Somebody asked what our eBay store name is. I actually don't know what it is right now. It's Close R Us. Close R Us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cutter and Buck, Ohio State vest, new with tags. It's a size 1XB, which uh, uh, the bigger sizes seem to sell better for us in the sports team stuff. Uh, price of this for like 20 bucks. 20 bucks? My goodness. 25 bucks. Oh, okay. I'm saying it's good. Oh, okay. Uh, this is Peter Millar button down. We paid $3 for this, so we'll pick that up all day. Um, I mean, Peter Millar button down. Probably ask mid 20s for it. Maybe try to go a little higher if I'm feeling lucky. Feeling yeah. lucky. You know, get her done. Another Eddie Bauer Trebex, or Trabex, however you say it. Um, listed for 20 maybe? This is an Orvis button down. A lot of people don't pick up Orvis because they don't think it's very good. Uh, unless it's like specialty, like a more substantial piece. No, but we sold a lot of a lot of Orvis. When we first started reselling, yeah. it was a lot better. Even sure. even used, I mean, we yeah. still we still sold a lot of Orvis. Orvis leather jackets are really good. Yeah. So this is new. We'll pick it up if it's new for sure. And it was only four dollars. We sold an Orvis leather jacket this year for like a hundred dollars, didn't we? Oh uh, yes. Yeah, it was like close to a hundred dollars. So we, we sold two actually. One was one was like ninety, and one was like seventy five. Yeah. So. You see a leather jacket in Orvis, pick it up. Just a Foot Joy Golf Polo, nice bread and butter, all over. It's a cool print. Yeah, it has a nice all over, like a Pine tropical, print? like yeah. uh, palm leaf cool. looking print. 22. Caleb. All right, Caleb, this is a long one. People underestimate recovery by cost when they accept lower offers. Uh, if you're always improving, just getting your money back would still get a huge return if you reinvest that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so just getting what you got out of stuff, I mean, Especially if it's older, sometimes oh, it, yeah. it kind of hurts. Like, man, I thought I was going to get more out of this, but you can go buy something better. You can get it, you can get moving. And one, we think it helps the algorithm some. I think it's going to help when we we think that if you see if eBay sees that you're selling stuff and your conversion rate is higher, yeah, they're going to push more, more to your store because yeah. how do they make money? They make money when you sell stuff. Yeah. So, or if you're promoting something, and they're you not sell like it. Amazon. They're not making yeah, money. They make money off it. of you, so they want you to sell stuff. Yeah. So we think the more you sell, the more they'll push to you. But also, a caveat to that is we don't. If it's a really good item, and say it just got buried in the algorithm, we're not going to just dump that thing and make no money on it. We're going to relist it. So we're not going <clears> to <throat> not even just relist it, but like take it down, we do redo the, the pictures, everything. Yeah, redo the listing. So yeah, and then it's a brand new listing completely instead of just a relist. Yeah, so we'll give it two shots before we give up on it completely if it's a really good item. Uh, this is a first men's t-shirt. I'm out of water. You're out of water. <laughs> Probably list this for 20, take like 15. Am I that dehydrated where I can't even talk for an hour without getting rasped? It's been an hour. VSTR. Christian, do you know what VSTR is? I think it's like a Meyer uh, brand, but it had flamingos on it. Oh, flamingos is good. Or are good, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. New with tags, and it was only two dollars. No, three dollars. Sorry. I actually bought that. I'm kind of just I'm trying something. Yeah. I, I like that it has a flamingo on it. I know that's like a really popular keyword to be using. I mean, uh, it does feel a little cheaper, but we're not gonna list it for a lot. But it's new, and uh, the sell-through rate didn't look that great. But I kind of just wanted to try it out because it was cheap. Um, Vineyard Vines Performance Men's Golf Polo, pretty self-explanatory, like twenty bucks. Gotta put baby down for a nap. I feel you, man. Most of the time, that's me. <laughs> right around this time's my daughter's uh, nap time as well. So, but my wife's home. She's spring break. So, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hopefully, uh, we're about we're done anyway. But talk to you soon. Uh, somebody else, think for yourself. Said, does retaking pictures and making a complete different listing better than just doing a relist? I mean, we think it, um, like a list self similar kind of situation. Uh, we think it helps we think taking new pictures makes a huge difference we think it makes it oh yeah completely better like a brand new listing yeah so it 100%. takes more time yeah but i mean if it has a better chance of selling then 
Why not? If it's a good item, you might as well just go ahead and do that. And Hopefully you'll get a sale. This is an Adidas golf polo. Uh, it has a patch over here, so it's not going to sell for as much, probably. But it is on the sleeve, which is better than it being on the front. Um, so hopefully, you know, maybe 20 maybe 15 20 bucks, something like that. But we paid a whopping $2 for it, so. You want to do the last one? My voice is that one. Okay, my, my voice is getting out. Okay. I'll... <laughs> it's a con dot This last one. Uh, yeah, it's a, four it's a button stretch. down. Four-way four -way stretch shirt. So we always buy the four-way stretch a lot of times if it's a, any decent brand. That just means it can stretch this way, this way, this way, and this way. It stretches every way, basically. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people like that. It's more comfortable, and it only cost us $3. So hopefully it'll sell for Construct's a decent brand. I mean, mid-20s, maybe, maybe 20, something like that. But when you only have $3 into it, I mean, like I said, I'm okay with getting... 16 to 18 bucks for it so yeah oh that's it that's all we got that's I mean, yeah like i said there's a bunch more over there but we yeah. didn't want to bore you guys make this video four so, hours long yeah. yeah yeah and we gotta start taking pictures so yeah we're so, a little behind now uh, so if you made this far go ahead and watch our spicy what soul if you want to uh, laugh spicy what soul it, it didn't do quite as well as we were hoping especially for all the pain we did so yeah. uh, no that's fine I know. I mean, it was. It was okay. The people that watched it liked it, and that's all that matters. It was. It was. Yeah. Fun. We're not. We're not. We enjoyed it. Yeah. 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 But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it. Yep. And uh, like, subscribe, do all yeah, the fun yeah, jazz. Yeah. I don't know how to end this. I'm supposed to keep talking until he ends it. So, um, like I said, keep watching out. We're gonna put out more videos, and uh, hopefully one day hmm. we'll. Uh, I gotta do it over here. You know. Do enough videos to where we can help a lot of people. So.